Hello guys and welcome to the Beyond Sana's channel, my name is Shanks and today we're gonna continue with the evil campaign in the Shadow in Flame mod for Battle for Middle Earth 1 with the Isengard army, Sauron, Grima Wormtongue and 100 Uruks invading the Fangorn forest. Let's get it started. Oh yeah. Fangorn is the ancient home of the Ents, an excellent source of fuel to drive the engines of industry. Okay guys, so this is the Fangon Forest, we have a couple of missions and uh, we need to destroy this Ent Mood. And funny fact, by the way, in German this Ent Mood is called Ent Tink. <laughs> That's it. <You> it. <laughs> it. Doesn't make any sense, but also Pokemon are named differently in a uh, German version. Kill Tribiot. So we have a problem now, and the problem is that we have no fire on our crossbow man. And fire arrow upgrade it doesn't exist anymore, you have only the flaming arrow volley which will be enabled for like a short duration now you are doomed kinda right so let's build some more i mean we can't we have a decent amount of money but we have no command points available so that means we can't even afford to build lumber mill workers oh there comes the ends uh let's try to use this let's kill this one and uh, saruman can use fireball on this one right they are also permanent ends uh from the ends mood not like the ends we know so you see how hard it is actually to kill these ants. We need to we need to uh, rotate all the time because if he tramples us down, so we might need our <laughs> say it. We, we deal we deal no damage. Please, can we use it? Look look at them. You see the ants are so powerful, and I can't even use the flaming arrow volley, which is not making it uh, easy for us guys. But it's it's okay. I mean, it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of, kind of annoying, because normally uh, killing the ants shouldn't be that uh, difficult. But I believe Isengard Rohan matchup in a one v one, the fact that you have no more flaming arrows available entirely on your crossbow man is gonna make the matchup way way harder. Anyways, there is a light on the ground. We need to lead to this uh, outpost or camp. Camp is a smaller version of a castle. We, I mean, it doesn't matter for the evil factions because evil factions have always open base, but... So let's kill this. And the annoying thing is that these elven units are invisible around the trees. But the first thing that we need to do is we need to just build some defensive foundations around our fortress. The design is, by the way, amazing. I like this so much. Destroy the elven camps, so we have actually lots of tasks to do. But I believe the first thing that we need to do is to destroy... Ah, we have the armory here uh, to destroy the ants mood because if we don't he will be you know the opponent will be spamming ants on us all the time and that's not gonna be fun to deal with trust me on that one okay this wood towers the design is by the way amazing i like this so much when you press q on your keyboard you can select all your units and if you select one unit and press e you can select the same types of units for the entire map so if you want to find all your crossbow men you can click on one of them and press e then you can automatically select them all. If you press Q, you can select every single unit, including your heroes. If you press only O uh, in the 1.06, you can also select only your heroes. But let's be honest, finding the heroes isn't... The diff oh my goodness, you are only able to buy banner carry upgrades. Oh my... Well, well, well. I mean, we will be buying banner. And banner is not bad, because this way our units are gonna hit all level 2. And um, level 2 is a huge power spike in BFME 1. Not only our units are gonna be able to deal way more damage, no. But also they will be respawning over time, which is a sustain possibility. Otherwise, you don't have any sustain with the evil factions. Um, but also quite expensive. 420 each, holy quacker moly. So not cheap at all. Uh, let's group our crossbow men with, level, uh, with the number 1. And uh, if you are wondering how to group them, you click them all and then you press Ctrl 1. And then you can see, when, you, when I press 1, I will select them automatically. When I press 2, you can also see this number, right? On top of Cream of Warm Tongue. That means the group of the units, if you are curious what I'm actually doing. Uh, okay, we don't need the Vision of Palantir. Devastation, okay, might be useful, but not really. Uh, the thing that we need to aim for is either Industry or the Eye of Sauron. That's the... Uh, that's the thing we need to lead to. Okay, there is a Alvin uh, barracks, and the problem what we got is we have almost, yeah, we have almost uh, no damage against buildings. That's the problem. Anyways, let's lead here because the good thing is we have an outpost here. Outpost is a camp with three spots only. So, and we have also two settlements, and uh, one settlement. Oh, there are double barracks. 
Okay, so let's use War Chance to make our units hit like a truck. And Saruman, you go for a juicy Visa Blast. Uh, I have, let's do let's do some shenanigans. Okay, voice of Saruman. Let's steal this end and let's use this end to destroy this Elven camp. And we can use uh, the fireball on the other end to make him deal uh, to make him da uh, take damage constantly over time. Unlike in BFME 2, the fire doesn't get uh, you. You will always burn un unless you make it to the water, you know, as an end. Okay, so. Everything is on cooldown from our abilities, but we have this sabotage. Enemy resource structure is disabled for a moderate amount of time, which is nice, I believe, in 1v1s. Uh, let's use this. Okay, actually, this is not bad. Flaming arrow volley is really not bad. So we need to make sure to keep our crossbow man with fire alive, and I believe we have only two of them. And also, this camp has to be protected. After getting your upgrade, you can demolish the armory. You don't need to keep the building in order to be able to upgrade your units. And now we can build the Uruk pit to get some reinforcements on the field. And let's build a tower here, a furnace and also a Uruk pit, just why not. You can also get this one. I don't want to uh, get too many Lumber Mill workers because they're going to just block our command points too much. So we can also build the slaughterhouse instead. So let's group. One of them is quite badly damaged. This one has the fire. So that's a very important unit for us to keep alive. Um, you know what we can do? We can also use the Urukai because in BFME 1, and that's what I like about this game so much, you are able to combine units with each other. Not only Crossbowman Urukai, but also Crossbowman and Pikeman can be combined, which is not allowed or you know available in BFME 2 or in the Rise of the Witch King. So let's wait for the Urukai, and they are also respawning because they are all level 2 now, since we upgraded them with the banner. And the good thing is also, the second you combine a level 1 unit with a level 2 unit, the level 1 unit also is gonna get a level 2. So we don't need to buy banner, watch now what's gonna happen if I combine them. It's gonna be a level 2 combat battalion, you see that? And this is very important because you can see, uh, our Urukai are like a shield wall uh, for the crossbow men. Crossbow men are like uh, glass cannon units, they are all about dealing damage, but they are not able to handle any kind of damage by themselves, so having some frontline like crossbow, uh, like Urukai or Pikeman is actually quite efficient. We are command points capped, so it is how it is. We have a Warchan ability available, but we need to destroy this end mood as soon as possible. And once again, if you have no command points available, don't build Lumber Mills, just build the Slaughterhouse instead. Slaughterhouse doesn't rely on the uh, Lumber Mill workers to make money for you. Okay, let's oh there are four ends in total holy quackamoly so let's group them all together this way wait a second we can go for a big war chant play and uh yeah i'm actually curious if we are let's use this kill this and we fire it's easy you see that we fire it's so easy and we fire it's extremely easy holy moly Oh, more ants are gonna spawn now and they are gonna trample us, so we need to be careful. Oh, warm tongue. Don't die. Don't, that is tree beard. Oh, oh. We have no more fire, so we might be forced to peel back. So let's peel back for a little bit. And you see our command points are dropping really low. We will need some more crossbow men as soon as possible. But uh, this tree beard doesn't wanna. He's not joking. Fireball is on cooldown. Grima. Uh, escape. Okay, so <laughs> Hobbit uh, music. Okay, so we can also group them with each other. Uh, okay, this one has fire back in the business. Let's use fire and kill this end first. Watch now the damage with the fire. Please. Burn, okay. Burning is very important because this way he's gonna take damage over time. Oh my! What is. The entire forest is against us, ladies and gentlemen, and we have no fire! I think we lost the second battalion too. So just peel back. Do not be um, so, uh, <laughs> okay. I have a idea. Okay, let's do this. Oh, that's a big brain alert. I hope it's gonna work. Please, 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 please. Come, my servant. So let's group them all together and then we can steal them all together at the same time. Oh my. <laughs> If also, oh look, he's kicking our butt. So let's destroy this end mood, please. You guys destroy this end mood. Just 
destroy this end wood. Saruman, be careful. Double burn? Yeah, double burn. Nice. Oh, this guy didn't burn, so I need to press S all the time. They are also not able to destroy their own homeland. Oh my, this tree beard is so fast. Please, Saruman, run for your life. They, they also killed all our ends. Look how fast they are when they're raging. Holy moly, run. <laughs> run, run, run. Tree beard is burning, but doesn't take too much damage over time. Oh my, this is not gonna end well. <laughs> oh my. Please. Stop it. Get some help. I need to press S all the time. This tree beard is chasing us until the end of the world. Let's use fire. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, please. Uh, I can revive him. But that's a, that's a fiesta. Like, in, like I was not expecting this, this to be that hard. You know what I'm saying? Look, this end is also not dying. He's killing all our army here, by the way. Oh, we have also fire here with this guy. That's, that's good. We have one more fire. So we need to dance around the rosy, I guess. Make him follow us. Oh, but he's not stupid. He knows what's, what's up, you know? He knows what's up. This is a very important unit with fire. He has to be alive. Oh, when they are level 2, they get it. Oh, okay, they automatically get it when they are level 2. It's not like you need to... Okay, it makes sense. Nice, nice, nice. I like that. I really like that. So we can also use fire. Fire. Fire at will. Fire at will. So can I... No, it's not right-clickable. So it's not like a ability from a... So look how... Tough he is. That's crazy, actually, you know? Needs more, 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 more. Okay, let's... You go, guys, here. We have money. Money is not a problem, but we are actually running out of units. Okay, you you have to peel back. I mean... Oh, okay. So, he killed all our stuff. Grima, are you out of your mind? Oh, oh, we, we can't bring him to the water, you know? That's the problem. When we bring him to the water, he's not gonna even burn anymore. Okay. Please. Fire. Look how hard this is actually to destroy this guy. More crossbow man, please. More, 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 more. Okay. More, 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 more. Please peel back. Okay, Sarmon is here. Sarmon, please. Fireball. It doesn't also deal damage. This tree bit is like uh, Thanos or something. That's crazy. <laughs> He's killing everybody. Please don't kill my entire battalion. Peel back. I'm, I'm, I'm actually so stressed now. It's so hard to kill this. Kill him. Sarma, maybe you can do something with your auto attacks or I don't know. Try. He's, he's busy fighting Saruman, that's good. Oh, not anymore. He's gonna kill him, right? Look how strong Treebeard is. G. Oh my. Please, finally. Is he dead? Oh yeah, oh my. This is like harder than Balrog, I'm telling you guys. This is harder than Balrog. Balrog is like a joke in compared to this Treebeard. This was crazy. This was really crazy. Why am I building a slaughterhouse? Anyways, okay. <laughs> okay, let's group. Okay, you guys get this. Uh, this. This. So we need to wait a little bit until they recover. And the good thing here is, because we have many, many damage units, we will be able to extend our command point limit. Oh my, I was so scared that he killed, I mean, he killed a lot. And it's not about him killing us. I was dancing around, microing around, but... It was just so extremely hard to take down this tree beard. So extremely hard. Anyways, we have four power points collected. That's great. I think industry is not needed. We can also go for the Eye of Sauron, which will give us 50% damage, 100% experience, and 50% armor. And ladies and gentlemen, this is Battle for Middle Earth 1. Here it's able to stack with each other. So Warchan and I is able to stack with each other. And with that being said, we can make our units really, really strong in the later stages of the campaign. And you can see we are extending the command points like crazy. The way it works is like 
uh, you can you know every unit is count uh, counts towers to the command point limit so the battalion for example is like cost you 30 but if you lose like every unit but one you will have way less uh, units on the field and this way once uh, your command points uh, kept and your units are able to recover you can extend the command point limit we have almost double the units pretty much which is great so let's combine them too uh, okay so yeah nice so we can now group them with number one and group them with the number two because we have to kill this end mood and we have to kill this now luckily there is only one end remaining on the field and we might potentially also move from this area let's give them all fire oh why i'm using that i'm always seeing that as an upgrade you know so we can move from double uh, from two sides the main army with saruman and uh, warm tongue and the other one is like a small group of units from the bottom right side micro macro okay so let's use fire the fire it's easy peasy lemon squeezy okay you see we fire it's a little bit easier okay there is also some stuff happening alvin warriors that's why there is there is a busy please kill him i'm actually curious oh look how much he's able to kill uh Saruman. okay finally Saruman, come please uh, leadership is important, but we don't need to use war chant here, right? We can also, I mean, we have so much money. I'm not relying on this one settlement here. We have over 10,000. This end boot, this is really tanky. I'm actually curious about the fireball damage. It's like a, he's kiddling him. So, fire has to be used. Fire is also effective against uh, buildings, by the way, if you don't know. It's dealing a little bit more damage. Oh, we have some stuff happening here. We can use I and Warch at the same time to make them really strong. This Alvin Warriors are able to get stuff. That's like, that's like a passive from the Alvin Warriors and also from like heroes, for example, Legolas Faramir. And the ranges from the Men of the West faction or Gondor faction. Look how long it takes. Finish them all. Finish them all. Okay, we destroyed them. That's nice. We can build a slaughterhouse here. Not because of the money, but also because of the vision. Since when you have a building around, you have you get to see way more, right? Okay. I mean, maybe they are here. Wait a second. Uh, bonus level up Saruman to rank three. He's rank three. Combine a horde, uh, Uruk crossbowman. Yeah, we already did that. So nice, nice, nice. So actually, the only thing we need to do is, uh, yeah, we need to just destroy this end mood in like two hours, I guess. <laughs> it's so funny. Wait a sec. Kill this, please. This is so annoying. They are killing our entire army. This one Elven Body Battalion. Look, he's almost level 2. Our units are so damp. They are not able to attack them for whatever reason. I is gone now. Okay, let's... I, I want to use War Chant, but it's not even available. Wait a second. Let's use Fireball. I mean, not Fireball. Fire it will. Fire it will. Whenever, it's fi whenever fire is available, let's use it. Let's also use the wedge formation to make to deal more damage, simply. Okay, I mean, doesn't even show you the HP. But again, killing this end mood, trust me, is harder than killing the killing the ground from uh, Mordor in the Minas Tirith War. This is like crazy strong. Okay, we have some more units around this side. We didn't even bring them with, but it's okay. We can't recruit any more units because we are command points capped. We have the entire map, and that's gonna be. The, the, you know that's gonna be it i don't want you guys to wait until the end mood is finally destroyed uh, i will see you next time guys thanks for watching uh, uh, you know so please don't forget to leave a like on this video take care of yourselves have a fantastic summer time with your family with your friends and as always stay beyond standards and keep hitting like a truck peace not like saruman